You know, there are two things I absolutely cannot stand. One, springing forward during this daylight savings time crap. I hate it. I hate it. For all of you that's like, oh, it's still going to be late when it turns late. I don't care. I lost an hour of sleep. I'm tired. And two, the New York Knicks losing a game at home that should have been won when the other team is missing every single one of their key players and only scoring 73 points after celebrating by making the other team, the Orlando Magic, the night before, score 74. Jesus Christ. A few nights ago, we held the Magic to 74 points, celebrated. I made a video like this. Only scored 74 points? Man, play the damn song. Oh, yeah. Orlando Magic, Orlando Magic, Orlando Magic. We go to outdo ourselves and say, hey, we want to do something like that and only score 73 points at home when the team was missing Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. What the oh my God. It's frustrating because the games right now are so important and, and injuries have been an issue for us at this point of the season. But this game was winnable. Enough talk. Let's get into it. Run the intro. This is CK Crew. It's your boy CK2K. Welcome back to another video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to like this video, people, people, people. First off, I want to apologize for not doing a watch along yesterday. And without any warning, I had a basketball game that I completely forgot happened simultaneously with the beginning of the Knicks game. So there was no play by play yesterday, but we're back on track. I'll make sure we are here for the remaining games for real this time that was on me just said something i apologize but we back on this thing tomorrow and tomorrow we play against the same team in the same building probably with different situations because i don't think tyrese maxi is going to miss this game due to a concussion but the knicks just lost 73 79 to this same team in madison square garden i feel like the knicks injuries be damned have been losing these winnable games at home when right now every game matters especially in the night where miami lost to washington cleveland lost to brooklyn and orlando lost to indiana do you catch my drift these are all teams that are in our window that we needed to lose and they're giving us the advantage and we couldn't take care of business right now it is very very key to win these remaining games of the season and you can't win games when jalen brunson's out there shooting six for 22 from the field divincenzo six for 17 three for 12 from three josh hart playing 43 minutes but only shot four of 13 from the field it was just an ugly ugly display shot to deuce mcbride defensively but the man went oh for five boyan bogdanovich the only one out there giving us solid minutes off the bench and why is alec burke still playing minutes in a new york knicks jersey come on man i understand what you're you love alec burks that's your guy you believe in him you brought him here but right now he's not looking good and you continue to put him out there to continue to suck. You mean to tell me you don't think Shake Milton, especially against one of his former teams, couldn't give you 10 better minutes than what Alec Burks gave you? Come on, man. Again, this is all just fresh out of the game. So I know that there's, there's a lot more to be excited for and there's a lot more upcoming for the Knicks, especially when you see footage like this of OG Ananobi warming up before this game. We've been seeing on a nightly basis, Julius Randle showing that he's been putting in his work before the game, after the game. All these kind of signs pointing towards what we want to see. Mitchell Robinson out here getting work with the youth clinic. So you're seeing the movement is fine on the leg and this, that, and the third. So we have good things coming especially with the nba playoffs right around the corner but look at these standings people every game matters and the remainder of our schedule is only going to get more and more difficult we got philly again on tuesday then we get a little hopeful i can't call it a break no more you can't take any of these games lightly but a hopeful break with portland then we got Sacramento, who's been playing well. We got Golden State that's trying to get out of a play-in. You got uh, Denver then. These are all away games, by the way, and they're going to be late as hell, especially with this trash uh, daylight savings time. Then we get a hopeful break with Brooklyn and Detroit and possibly Toronto. But right now, uh, Emmanuel Quickly and R.J. Barrett have been hooping. Emmanuel Quickly dished out 18 assists the other night, and R.J. Barrett, uh, since he's been a Raptor, is shooting 60% from the field. Take that, efficiency junkies. <laughs> I can go on and on 
on and on. Miami, OKC, Sacramento again, Milwaukee, Boston. We have games that are going to be difficult, but we also have winnable games. We're going to have to win some of these other difficult games to make sure that we solidify our spot. It's still possible for us to get the third. We got to see um, Cleveland uh, fall apart a little bit. I mean, they, they, they have been in the last few games, and it's very possible, but we got to do our part in winning these games. Now, I know that's going to be difficult. I understand the situation at hand, but a game like yesterday in the Garden where everything was handed for us, and it's not even like uh, Philly in this win went crazy on us. Kelly Oubre, who shot 31% from the field and made some key buckets and also knocked DiVincenzo in the back of the head, which he learned real quick that our white boys don't play. But Kelly Oubre with 18 uh, mediocre points was the guy that was being interviewed after the game. He shot 6 of 19 from the field. Like this was in no way, shape or form a game where any of these guys went crazy. Buddy Heald shot uh, great. Uh, Paul Reed, I felt like was doing a very good Precious Achua impression. Nothing too extraordinary where the Knicks should not have come away with this win. It's frustrating. Anyways, man, you know, like I said, jokes aside, ranting aside the Knicks are in a tough spot as we're still trying to slowly get healthy and get back into the swing of things and you know to have a game like this one fall in the balance is it's frustrating it is very frustrating we had the same thing happen a few uh nights ago where a game that we needed to win in the garden we let fall away because we were playing like this but you know it's all a part of the fact that we just need to get healthy um, you know, I have complaints here and there about minutes, but that's neither here nor there. The main thing is health. And I feel like the New York Knicks here in a few weeks when we start to get our guys back will show what team that we really believe they, they, they can be. But the real thing is like with Alec Burks, like when are we going to get put the kibosh on that? Like uh, maybe when we're fully healthy and Burks is playing limited minutes in a better role, it'll be good. But he's still playing 11 minutes in this game. I, I just don't know. I don't know. And again, I feel like in this game personally, I feel like as, as much as I love Precious Chua, love the story about Precious, I, I, you know, I've been a, bit a fan of Precious Chua since we got him. But in this game, it felt like he was a little bit out of place in some situations. And down the stretch where we needed a bucket, I feel like that's where Tom Thibodeau needs to go to a guy like Boyan Bogdanovich to play in those minutes. I mean, he was the only solid shooter in this game, four for eight from the field in 18 minutes. And it's not like defense was really a, a big factor because both teams were just throwing up bricks. There's just things here or there that I, I wish we would make adjustments with, but you know, it's just the, the template and that's what we do. And it's just a, a frustrating loss, but the point of the matter is things are about to turn around. The playoffs are right around the corner and the standings look like this. Where do you think the New York Knicks ultimately land? We're going to be following this closely as our guys return back into the lineup and as the games get difficult and more and more important. But what says you? What are your thoughts about the rotations? What are your thoughts about who's in and who's out? I just had to come on here and talk about that ugly atrocity that we had to watch yesterday. But we're back in this thing against Philly again tomorrow, back in the garden. Hopefully the Knicks will not appreciate getting smacked in the mouth in their own stadium, and they'll be able to respond uh, the right way in the garden. But what says you? What are your thoughts about the New York Knicks? Where do you think we end up? Do you think that we manage to keep this fourth seed? Do you think there's a way that we climb up and, and steal the third when we get healthy? Or do you think we finish much lower? Give me your thoughts on everything, the game, their standings. Let me know Let me know everything in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to like this video. I appreciate your guys' support as always as we are getting closer and closer to playoff basketball. Me, boy CK. I'll catch you next one. Let's get it. Oh, my gosh. Now I got to edit this video and try not to fall asleep because Daylight Savings. When are we getting rid of Daylight Savings time? I'll, I'll, I'll stop. I'll see you on next time. Oh, 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 oh